Hello there everyone, it is TIJ Gaming and welcome to part 28 of our pro career with Neil Robertson on Snook19. And today we start our second invitational event of the season. Yeah, that's right, after the Shanghai Masters. And in this event we are playing the Champion of Champions. And first off we're playing against Ryan Day who's ranked number 17 in the standings. Now I'm not really sure why we're playing Ryan Day. Uh, he hasn't won a tournament in the last 12 months that I'm aware of. Uh, he did win I think in Gibraltar in 2018 but only got to the final of that this year and was succumbed to um, Stuart Bingham. So not really sure why he's in this tournament. I suppose that it's just whoever wins the tournaments in this season that we're playing and then they just add players on uh, to make the numbers up if you like. So we are playing Ryan Day first off and just a quick very much thank you first off for uh, how well this series has gone so far. I've had a little break of six days because of some exams I've had this week. By the way, they went really well. So really glad of that time off just to focus on those for the last week. But I have got a week off now to focus on snooker. And hopefully I can record content for the next two and a half weeks. Which will cover the next week which I'm off. And then the next week and a half in which I've got a few more exams uh, to knock out until the end of my A-levels. Which of course I am very, very excited for. But... I think having that little break has made me realise how well this is doing and made me have a little bit look at the views. And it is amazing that over 100 of you are watching every day because that's a level of fig that's a that's a figure of views I've never had before in terms of being 20 odd episodes into a series and still having 100 of you watch every day. So I'm massively thankful for that more than you can believe. And I just hope you understand how much I appreciate that. And just just keep it coming if you are enjoying the series. Every like makes a difference. Every comment makes a difference. Every uh, every 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 view makes a difference, really, and uh, really keeps me motivated to keep up the series. But if we, uh, we well, if you remember, uh, it's been a while since we've last played, so it might be a little bit uh, rusty against Ryan Dave. Hopefully, beat him today. But of course, it was our first final of the Oppo International Championship last time out against Judd Trump. And well, let's not talk about too much why we lost because we don't want to get all depressed. But it was uh, that free ball. It was um, the, the the potential snooker. Uh, which Judd Trump, which Judd Trump had supposedly got uh, on us, but it wasn't a snooker. We called the blue. I didn't understand that we could have played the red regardless, and if we'd have potted that red, uh, and it was an easy enough pot, then we would have gone on to win the championship. But there you go. It was just a calamity of errors. So a bit unfortunate to be honest, but that was all stemmed from when we missed uh, one of the reds. It, we're on about a 50 break and we missed one of the reds, which was fairly easy looking back at it. Now, I hope you guys who watched the premiere last week really enjoyed that. I certainly enjoyed watching it back until I'm thinking, oh no, it's going to go wrong in a minute. It all looked so well when we were only one frame away with two frames to go. But nevertheless, it's a new tournament. It's the champion of champions. There are 16 players that take part in this. Of course, myself, Ryan and 14 others. Therefore, this is the round of 16. And uh, if we get through to the, we get through this round, then of course we go straight into the quarter final. But a half decent break to be fair from Ryan Day there. Uh, just leave a few reds on, and I'm going to go for this red. Uh, a little bit reluctantly though, I suppose, because there's no real positional play we can play as such. Because if you look, ideally we want to get in sort of that gap there, but of course we're just going to hit that red straight away. That. Uh, as you can see, the cue ball's next to. So I don't think we're going to have to worry about position so much, you know. Just play with quite a bit of top. If we miss it, it's quite uh, a dangerous one. But hopefully, if we do with a decent amount of power, it makes sure A, it goes in the pocket, uh, and B, that we get half decent position without hitting it too hard. There we go, it's there. Good pot. And uh, off the top cushion quite nicely and decently back into play. No, no position on the pink. Uh, I think the blue is probably the easiest one to go for. Funnily enough, we've got quite lucky there because it is quite a straight pot. But uh, hopefully we can be on this red. I'm going for this red by the black that's pretty much touching the black and hopefully that will come off quite nicely. Well, Not much pressure on position because I think hopefully if we, as long as we get a decent screw back like so, we should be on that red and that's a good way to start. To be fair, we might be better going for this red. I'm a little bit worried today because... If I am a bit rusty, I haven't played the game, so that's final. We played against Jordan. That was about a week and a half ago. I played that. Now, where's the cue ball? Where's the cue ball? Oh, we're okay. It's been about a week and a half um, since I played that final against Judd. It's probably a bit rusty, and I haven't played the game since. Really nice uh, and straight on the blue, which actually we might come back to ruin that a little bit, actually. Try and get back on that uh, red that we were trying for before. That's the aim. But I suppose we play with a little bit of... Top, we can get over here potentially. 
Yeah, and get to the other side. That probably works. Yeah. But certainly not starting too bad. That's just way too soft. But luckily we're okay because, uh, as you can see, the pink's been moved off its spot. So we've got quite a straight red here. Just a little bit of luck sometimes, I think, honestly. It's all you need. And the proof in the pudding in the uh, final against Judd was that we were just too quick with that one red. And that's what lost us the final, ultimately. Because uh, if we hadn't have missed that red, then he wouldn't have been able to get us into the snooker. But certainly not ideal in terms of position here. But uh, we're going to have to hit this quite soft just to ensure the pot. Looks fairly good. And it's there, good pot. 18. Don't for running for anything particular now. But as you can see, those certainly don't go through. Might be end a break here. We could get on this one, actually, I suppose, I think, possibly. A bit of a tricky one. Just check that it's not touching the black so it doesn't interfere with it. Now, it is going to be a bit of a tricky pot. Uh, but a bit of a shot to nothing as well, because we can get it back up to bulk if we miss. Yeah, we have missed it. But as you can see, back up to bulk quite nicely. And uh, because of the way the reds are formed, there's not really much way that Ryan Day can get in here. And that blue in the middle of the table does cover things as well. So unless he has a bit of a bonkers shot here, yeah, he's going to play a safety. And that has gone catastrophically. He, he kissed three reds there, where he only really wants to kiss one. But has he got away with it? I don't think he has. And now there's a nice pot on here. Get a bit of screw back, ideally. But this is a nice pot. Nice opportunity. Decent kiss on that uh, red just to slow us down a little bit. I think it's going to be the brown we go for here. Not particularly keen on that blue. Okay, position's not going to be that brilliant, but if we come off the the uh, the bulk cushion, should be okay. But I think what we can take is a bit of pride so far. Okay, we're not built up a big break, but Ryan Day hasn't had a chance. I know it's very much early days in right. this match so far, but Ryan Day hasn't had a chance. Um, limiting our chance a little bit there, arguably. Just see if this red does go. I think it does. Yeah, it definitely does. So we're going to have to go at this. It's a little bit of a risk because if we miss this, there is a chance for Ryan Day. Well, he's but sometimes you've got to take a risk. Right Ooh, that was quite a well, way off in the end, to be honest. To creep into his game. To just uh, hit the one jaw and just bounced off. It was a little bit too quick as well. So a bit misjudged. And as you can see, you can see we're probably a bit rusty. But here's Ryan Day's first chance. And of course, that uh, 23 score without a comeback from Ryan wasn't going to be... <laughs> big enough whatsoever to build up a decent lead so you know it's his chance now at the end of the day but he's unfortunately blocked off the black already but he does get some sort of solace with the pink but goodness me that was way too quick and I think he got a good chance there and he went and mucked it up really that being said even if he had potted it he wouldn't have got the best position just check there's not no uh, reds up bulk or anything like that uh, I don't want to hit this too hard really it's a tricky one Oh, that's a good pot. We were a little bit lucky to get away with that, to be honest. I did think, oh, it's going to hit the one jaw and just bounce out like the last one did. But that is very nicely on the black. It's a, pretty much a straight pot. So we'll take that. And I think if we come close to the cushion that, of course, we're aiming for here with the black, then hopefully there might be a red to the middle, but probably a little bit harder than uh, I was expecting there. Apply that red across the cushion. Hmm. A bit weak in terms of position here, it must be said. So it might have to be this red across the, along the cushion. And it's not one I'm particularly confident in. I have to, have to say, it might give Ryan Day a chance. Along the cushion. And I don't think it's a work, risk worth taking at this point. So if we can tap this red... Um, hmm, it does leave a red on, I suppose, doesn't it? So try and get behind this pink. Might not work, might do, but at least we're giving it a go. But I, don't, I just think that... Um, oh, that's too hard. That's way too hard. Yeah. That being said, I think we do cover off that red, and if we were a bit further up the table, there would have been a nicer angle on the red that's closest to the blue. But he is playing that one, and that's a very good pot. Must admit, I thought that'd be a difficult shot, but Ryan Day made it look very easy. But certainly not playing our best so far. It's going to take us a frame or two to get into it, and I think the problem is with the with the shorter games of only five frames, is that if it takes you a frame or two to get in your game, of course you can be two frames behind. By the time you get to the third one, and I think we all know how 
poor my record is in deciders. Probably not even because of pressure. I think a lot of it comes down to luck sometimes. Played a few stupid shots, but I think in that last match against Judd, and probably this is going to be the last time I ever mention that, but I think in that last ma match against Judd, it was just, well, bonkers, really. An incredible way to finish that match. But for the first time in this little break of 25, the black's off limits, but he's certainly not a mug for going for the blue. Quite a healthy start, though, from Ryan Day here. And that's a decent chance for that red. Nice stuff. Ooh, dear. Just behind the pink. If he'd have been playing for a red there, of course, he'd have, uh, he'd have snookered himself. But he's missed the brown. I thought he was going to, to be honest. I thought he was going for the pink at first, but he didn't. But, uh, gonna just softly hit this uh, red in. I want to argue, I want to hit the other two really while we're at it. That'll do. See, so we didn't need to hit it too hard. Just hope this red doesn't hamper us. No, it doesn't. That's good. Good pot. Oh, where's the cue ball? Where's the cue ball? Oh, we got away with that. Goodness me. Got good position on this uh, on this red, funnily enough, as well. Well, he's taking it on to the left corner. Another good pot, and we level up the scores with Ryan Day. Not the best healthy position on the black there, but Nine. luckily we've got a few more balls on the tail we can work with. I don't really fancy this black, so it's going to be the green, uh, and then I think from possibly get it off the bulk and then uh, see what position we've got. There's always plenty of room to play a safety shot if we need to. Certainly no sort of pot on here. I mean, there is, but it's very tight. We'll, we'll assess it. We'll have a look. But as you can see, it's not one I feel comfortable in playing anyway. So we'll play a safety on this uh, red. Going to have to be quite hard. Of course, it's going to be effectively a free cushion escape here. Oh, we hit the black. We didn't really want that to happen. But because of the angle... Oh, where's the black going? Where's the black going? We're okay. But there was a shot like this before that I said, oh, this could be uh, a tricky one for Ryan Day to pull off. And he pulled that one off, so he could pull this off. Oh, he's missed it. And he's not kept it safe. Oh. Well, this is a bit of a half chance, and you know what we're like? We're always tempted with that sort of chance. Could go for the middle pocket, I suppose. But I just think there's more chance of mucking up that. I'd sound ridiculous, but there's more chance of mucking up that middle pocket shot. And... Uh, a car just flying out the window there. I've got the window open, so a little bit of a uh, little bit of wind. So it does tend to happen sometimes. But I think this should be okay. And if it's not, to be fair, at least we're at the opposite end of the table. We're going to be quite unlucky for it to bounce away. But that's a really nice pot. And I think taking that chance to the that pocket could well be um, a frame clincher if you like. pot this black and we have so that takes it down to the colours but we could have snookered ourselves here wouldn't be the best way to start and I think we have yeah can we swerve out of this I think we surely can yeah there we go hang on hang on yeah we've got to hit this quite hard and it's not really the best way to start here we've got to make sure we hit it at the exact a percentage, because we all know how foul how, how fouls can give frames away. Oh, I think we've missed it. Yeah, we've missed it. I think. Just need it exactly in that sweet spot. And uh, we've missed it. And I think that uh, Ryan will play on here because he can definitely pop this red. And I have to say from here that Ryan dies the favourite to take this first frame. But goodness me, that's a howler. That is a real howler from Ryan Day. Could have played that better. Hit the brown on the way through and that was chance. shocking really. Now I'm not the best at these pots, but it seems ridiculous not to try and take this on. That's really close, but Oh, close that's enough. heartbreaking. Just hit the cushion on the way through and we didn't pot it and All of a sudden from both players, a few shots that are suspect and you know that can be the difference between the games sometimes. Of course, not the not the pressure on this game. I think that there probably would be on ranking events. You know, it'd be nice to defy the champion of champions. But we, if we don't, it doesn't really matter. Of course, nothing for ranking points. But uh, he's potted the yellow and the green. But goodness me, he's uh, played a suspect safety on the brown. Well, 
gonna try and apply this. Pace is absolutely and just move it. Oh, it's gonna be right over the pocket, isn't it? It's gonna be right over the pocket. Oh, that's heartbreaking. Pace is key here. Saying that, he might play safety. He is as well. If he's got a snooker here, well, fair play. Not quite. Got to be a bit annoying for Ryan Day. Oh, where's the cue ball? Oh, that's a howler. Been a real just combination of errors this frame from both players. It's It started off quite well. A few nice breaks and then just all got sloppy. And as you can see, it's still sloppy. Ryan missing that shot. Got to play a, got to play a pot here. <clears throat> and there we go. It's finally in. Thank God for that. And in a frame where we've made quite a few mistakes, we might just be gifted it here. Of course, we need the blue and we need the pink. Great opportunity. Blue's trickier than it seems. It's there. Nice contact with the cushion there, and we're we don't want to be much closer than this to the pink. But with the pink, which should be fine, just take a bit of time over this. Yeah, with the pink, we will win the frame. Just the pink required now. And I think it's fair to say, very lucky to get away with that. But somebody had to win the frame, and it wasn't just us that played poorly. You know, as I said, two decent breaks followed by a lot of rubbish snooker, really. Let's see if we can clean up this black. Not the easiest of pots, but it's there. Nice, good long pot, and the first frame. Goes to us. A bit of a longer one than usual, a bit scrappy. But we'll certainly take that. And we go 1 0 ahead against Ryan Day. So it's us to break here, and we saw from Ryan Day's uh, opener that it wasn't the best breaks. Seems a lot of players and a lot of my contemporaries on YouTube like to play breaks a lot harder than this and sort of come off two cushions uh, to effectively end up the other, the other side. So uh, close to the green. And I think the aim of that is to get in the middle of the table, but. To be honest, I think that looking back, I think the success rate of our of our break offs may be a little bit of a softer approach. Oh goodness me! Well, we'll continue that discussion in a minute. But goodness me! Well, Ryan Day, we'll force him to retake it from there. Um, Ryan Day, goodness me, went for the red. Missed the red. I mean, he's just only hit the red this time. The reason I went for him to retake is because I didn't really want to continue from there. We could have had a pot on, but I just didn't fancy it. Um, but, nope. you know, some some of you might have took this on. But the beauty is, is that, you know, we all play a bit differently. And I didn't fancy that. Now, the only thing we've got to avoid is a kiss on this red that's close. And we weren't far away from a kiss on it, to be fair. Just got to hope we covered on this red by, mm, by the green and we're not. So... Possibly that decision to force him to retake has come to this is really haunt true. us, and it certainly will if he wins the frame from here. One. And that'll stop us getting a 1 5 4 <laughs> with uh, Ryan Day potting the red and the black. Great opportunity. If you don't know what I'm on about, of course you can get a 1 4 no. 7, but because we've got the 7 points allocated as a result of the foul, <laughs> we could have got a 1, fo one 5 4. He's played that very well with the rest. 16. But he's not started badly here. I think I probably regret making him retake. Probably, I don't know, I could have continued and played a safety. But I just thought that the reds were quite nicely open. But goodness me, he's missed a black at some ferocious pace there. But I feel that was certainly just to, just to play the snooker. And we're going to just try and be fairly soft. Get a hit on one of the reds. Which we do. Oh... I mean, luckily, I think we've got away... No, we haven't, unfortunately. We got away with it on the red that we're very close to, but we're not away with it on that red there. It takes a very skilled and, you might well say, lucky shot to get out of a snooker and uh, make sure the other player's not in position. But another howler again from Ryan Day. Just not acknowledging that the other ball's there. It's simple. You know, he went for the black and just didn't acknowledge the red was there, and that's really poor play from Ryan Day. This is tighter than you might well think, but a good pot. 
not badly off the cushion, and I think there's a route for, well, there definitely is, a uh, route through to the pink. Oh, is there actually? I said there definitely was. There might not be here. No, there's not. So, we like our blues, don't we? Going to have to hit this quite hard to bring it back down to where we are. Close, but not quite. That was much harder than we needed. We were a little bit off with that shot. We've not really, we, we never really do learn that lesson from the, oh my goodness me, is this going to be another frame of a calamity of errors? I mean, that was more clean cut than the, the than our pot, for goodness sake. Right, that definitely goes and it's in the middle of the pocket. We're fine. There we go, that's how you pot a red, Ryan. But goodness me, that was a howler from Ryan Day. Really was. It's a shocker. Just too hard. So we're going to do the opposite here of what Ryan does. Oh, is that going to go? Yeah, it does. Eight. Oof, a little bit lucky there. But I think the, it sounds ridiculous, but in some matches, it's just who makes the least amount of mistakes. Now, for some reason, there are some matches that everything goes to pot and... You know, quite literally, pardon the pun. Uh, but things just go out the window sometimes. It's a very bizarre situation, but it can happen. Aiming for the centre pocket here. We're going to just play this up the table, I think, and back down because I can't really see how we're going to get position on a red unless we get a bit of luck. Don't hit the brown. Sure, ah. played it like that. Where's the cue ball? Ta Ooh! <laughs> Jeepers. No way through. Unless we play with a little bit of spin. I don't think we can, unfortunately. Even with some spin, we can't really get through to that, I don't think. Let's just try it. I don't think we can. No, we can't, unfortunately. That's a shame. So, end of break. Uh, unless we pop this red, which again is a bit of a shot to nothing. Oh, but it is a very much of a risk, you can see. That's, uh, it would more than likely just go back into the pack, so... We've got a tricky shot on our hands here. What do we do? We're going to have to put it a lot thicker than we wanted to, and it's certainly uh, a safety shot there in that case. He doesn't want to play this with too much pace. And this is just to avoid the uh, the pack, really. But uh, we didn't get as clear as I certainly expected, and we leave a red on here, which is a shame. And That's not ended well. Again, I, th I think it's just all about not practice this game. For. We've been away from it for about a week and a half. I'm a little bit rusty. And it's just all about getting through the game and One. not making as many mistakes as your opponent. But, uh, Ryan Day, okay, again, Four. close frame so far. Plenty of mistakes from both players. Five. And uh, he puts himself back on equal footing. But he's going to miss that black. He's, well, ooh, he's got to away a little bit there. He's right on top of his game Thought he was heading straight for the draw and we've right now returned, but he potted Excellent. it. And uh, he's doing nice to start on the black. I wouldn't exactly call it for next because he's having to bumble around up and down the table. And as we've seen from previous shots, pace isn't a word that Ryan Day is afraid of. That's, a really That's another place. clanger. God, he's, he's just not really controlling his shots today. And I, I know that I've just been so hypocritical because so I'm going to smash this and try and move these reds about. But we've got an opportunity. We might as well. That ain't bad at all. And you might say, well, why have you done that? Because position's crap. Well, we, well, you could say we got a bit lucky. You could argue the opposite, but we're on the black. He's taking the black on. Brilliant. What a magnificent pot. So, there you go. Eight. Again, sometimes it's a little bit about luck. I was saying this earlier on. It really is sometimes. It's all about just getting a little bit of luck. But separating the balls and getting them in decent positions is, you know, a, a route to having a chance. And it's all about having a chance. If you've got some sort of position, you're always worth having a go. But this black should be okay. Come on and off the cushion. For the left here. Not a big fan of these pots, but... Not the quality oh, we'd expect well, a player of his... I think that was a little bit hasty to play that, potentially. I think it was. I said I wasn't a fan, and it wasn't too far away, but as we all know, it's all about finesse and 
controlling things, but Jesus Christ. Ryan Day really can't pot anything apart from the cue ball, it seems. Oh, we're definitely going to play on from here. Uh, but goodness me, I mean, he tried the red. He was way off with the red. Any, you know, any man and his dog could have seen that. And then he potted the cue ball. Well. Nicely positioned for the black. Doubt if there's a way through to the... Oh, no, there is. There's a way through to the black, so we might as well play it. It's a free seven points, effectively, from what we made before. That's a bit sloppy. Max position a little bit tricky now, but... You know, we weren't really playing for position there. See if we can get something on this uh, on this red. Again, our, you know, our accuracy with these sort of shots isn't bad either. This is not easy. Doesn't look bad, doesn't it? Doesn't look bad. And it's there. What, what a, a pot. pot. Cracking stuff. And the cue ball very as long as this pink isn't nice. too bad, yeah, it's fine. We can tap that on and then get down to the bottom of the tail potentially. Tap the black while we're at it as well. Just make sure we get the pot though first, because it'd be chaotic. He's an expert long if we didn't. And he's taking this on. Nice pot. Ooh, probably not even powerful really enough. I said it was very powerful, but not powerful enough. Fifteen. So I think we'll just hit this fairly hard. Tricky pot along the Try our best here. to get some sort of pot on it, but if not, back up the table. No, it was way off and I've said before we're not very good at those, but we might have got away with this. No, it's gone way too far. It's come back down the table way too far. A lot softer we'd have been covered by one of the colours. But my strength really isn't those shots, and I think we've got to work on our play to make sure that we're in those sorts of positions as minimally as possible. But two very close frames here. It could be the day of Ryan Day, pardon the pun. Could be the, the frame of, of Day here. But he needs a bit of precision, which is something that his game's not really been associated with so far in these first two frames. But I think it's fair to say we snatched the first frame from Ryan Day, so I think it might be a bit of justice for him to take the second one. But, ooh, we're going to have to come down the, the bottom pocket here with the brown. Well, it's not all over yet. Level pegging. He's going for this. He's hit the cushion, and he's missed it. I thought he did. He hit the cushion, and that's usually... Not a good sign. It's really Just easy. focus on the pot here and then we can get position later. Yeah, there we go. Good pot. And as long as it doesn't come too far down, it doesn't make the angle too bad. No, the angle's not too bad there. I think we can pot this. Four. Yeah, looks good to me. Like nice and soft though. Again, I, I've always said, you know, you can we can focus on position later. Just wants to sink this into I think this looks a healthy enough pot. Soft as possible, really. Loose play like that. Oh, I don't believe we missed that. From a player of his quality. No, I don't believe that. I thought we were bob on. But we did miss it. And uh, Ryan Day was a safety. Interesting. Really Just play it up to this, uh, this blue. Doesn't want to overhit this. That was absolutely fine. It's going to be a classic tug of war here. Going to take it as soft as he can until one of us is touching ball. Brilliantly played. This is an intriguing safety battle. Certainly is, isn't it? Play it to the left. I don't want to play it to the left too much. We don't want to uh, put it in the pocket. But the aim is to not get the blue towards that pocket. Looks like it was touching ball then. But he's hit the blue. And is there any angle on that? Not really. So it's going to be another tug of war here, really. Could be a dangerous one, though, this. Might not work out. No, that's lovely. We're still ahead in this frame, remarkably. You know, we're going to take it to the end. Of course we want to win. But he's played a much more aggressive shot there. Where's the blue? Can't really see, but, well, fair play. It's on the cushion. It's almost like a black respot now. Going to play it this side because we want to get it to the middle of the table for a bit of safety. Yeah, it's very much like a, a black race spot now in terms of the tactics we have to use. And I think we've got the snooker. Except with a black race spot, of course, it's only the one ball. <laughs> yeah, we've got the snooker. Hopefully he doesn't deal well with this. 
Just hit the blue. But where's the cue ball? Where's the cue ball? Where's the cue ball? Oh, he's really got away with that. And to be fair, I think he's got away with the position here a little bit. Well, we're going to try and take the chance here, but... It's not an easy shot, as they say. But it's there! Great stuff. Not going to count our chicken until this uh, cue ball stops. But amazingly, again, all we need is the pink. Can we tack a second frame? I think. I, I don't know if I'm being harsh and um, Just the pink being too critical on myself. But I, honestly, I don't think we deserve this two-frame lead. I really don't. You know, it could, it could genuinely be 2-0 to Ryan Day. They've been so close, these two frames, and... You know, it might well be our safety play that's been better or something. I'm not particularly sure, but, you know, I wouldn't say we deserve this that much. We've missed the black, which <laughs> categorises the game so far. But amazingly, I'm fairly astonished. I think you can probably hear that in my voice. But uh, we're two frames to the good here, which is a real shock. Especially with the meal of a decision we made to force Ryan to retake a shot early on in the frame. I think they've got the model of Ryan Day quite well done, actually. No, I don't think Robertson's is so good, but Ryan Day's is quite nice. Has he left anything on here? The AI lights like leave this red wandering a little bit. But this time he's covered it, so it is going to be an old-fashioned just hit the red as thin as possible and get back to the bulk. We don't mind those sorts of shots. Hit it a little bit thicker because, of course, the reds will disperse a little bit from this. Won't make any difference, actually. You know, we could have played it as thin as possible, but you always want to cover all scenarios. It does leave a red on this, does amazingly. But, again, his, his, his uh, short-range potting's been rubbish today, so... Well, and then he can take a pot like that. Astonishing, really. I think long pot's probably a little bit too easy on this game for, for AI and for... Uh, human players because as I've said earlier his short range stuff has been well abysmal to say the least and to pot that red from that position was you know pretty impressive the first one he took that is yeah I did lose the cue ball there definitely so it's end of break unless he magic something here has he uh, has he left this ball Ooh, I think it no I don't think it I think he has Got to be careful of the cue ball here, as you can see. I think it's quite hard then to get there. I think it goes into the pocket, but that's the problem. We, I think it's a big risk. This is. It's it soft, and then at least it, I don't think if we're playing screw back the. Mm, no, let's not. Let's not play that because. Hell of a lot of risk that can come from that. Unfortunately, though, we've got to swerve to avoid this now a little bit. We have avoided it, but where's the cue ball going to end? Are we going to cover ourselves on that red? I think we are with the green, which is nice. Uh, are we, actually? There might be a way through. There's always a way. Yeah, there is a way through for Ryan Day, but he's going to play the safety. He is going to play the safety, not the pot, interestingly. And uh, we could be on for a little safety battle here, which I, I certainly would relish. Getting a nice thin cut on that red. And back up to the bulk area. And that is a very nice shot. Remarkably, really, even though Ryan Duck took uh, two reds and two colours, it's fair to say the, the formation of the reds has, hasn't really changed. That can change very quickly, though, as we've just seen. And uh, is it time for us to register our first pot? Go for that one potentially, but again, it's a big risk. So I think we are going to go. Mm. Yeah, it's going to have to be a safety here. Again, we are two frames up. We don't want to give chances away like ridiculous. At ridiculous chances, that is. You know, we we don't want to give anything away here, and it would set a good statement, even though we've been lucky. To go on and win this match 3-0. That would be a real good statement to make. Especially after our... What some people would call bottle against Judd Trump. Excellent. No more cynical pundits in the game would surely call it that. And I think that, you know, the, that might well be fair. You know, we were one frame away with two to go. I mean, I've said I wouldn't talk about this again. 
the next 20. You do realise until we get into another final, we'll be talking about Judd Trump. And then when we get to another final, oh, do you remember our last final? Oh, it's a little bit too hard, isn't it? Oh, gutting. A little bit softer. It would have been nicely in behind that uh, in behind that round. He'll be playing safe here. But yet again, he's playing a safety, and is it safe this time? And no spells, no. He went for the snooker, and it hasn't really worked out. No, he didn't go for the snooker. I don't know if this is too hard, but then we want to get some sort of position, and that's nice. We surely haven't got through to the black here, have we? No, the black's blocked off, so... It's going to be a little bit of a shot to nothing here. Our uh, success rate on these greens are usually pretty decent. So oh, we've missed it this time. It. I think every time I say that, I must jinx myself. <laughs> we've got good success. Oh, we usually do well on these, and then we go and miss it. Never the usually best way to do things, but very poor start from us here. Ryan Dio definitely had the better start of the two. 100%. But oh well, nothing we can do about it. We're not at the table, and it's always that age-old story. Unless you're at the table, you can't influence things. But we saw something similar to this in the second frame. Again, he's Mr. Red. Could potentially say he played a safety there. But there's a half chance here. Provides a little bit of safety as well if he doesn't go in. Good part. Really strong that was. But as you'd have seen, it would have provided some sort of safety. Not brilliant, because it would have been a red or two on. But it certainly provided some sort of safety. Now, does this pink go? Yeah, it certainly does if we hit it correctly. Now, we always overcompensate for a ball being there. That's a fact. So, let's just play it like that. That should be fine. Cracker. Fantastic. Didn't play it too hard, because we were looking at the pot more than position. If we'd have played it a little bit harder, of course, we'd have been more positively on a red. So... Unless there's anything gaping out, which I don't think there is. Oh, there's this red. Duh. Uh, you know, there's, there's only the one on the cushion we're, we're basically straight on. You know, apart from that one, there's not really much on. Uh, yeah, it is a red run. I was just checking that it's a red, not a colour. I didn't want to make myself make that stupid mistake. Not too much harder. We could be decently on a black here, potentially. No, it won't get to the corner. Of course it won't. It will get to the middle. But do we really want to risk that? Not at this point. Yes, he's taking the pot on. I won't say anything. There we go. Brilliant. See, when we don't say anything, we're fine. Brilliant. Possibly a little bit hard here, but we're going to be saved, or maybe not, by the black. Yeah, we're fine. Eleven. Need a fairly solid shot, and that is certainly what we've got. We like doing things the hard way around here. We don't play... Uh, Sophisticated snooker thing, it's fair to say. We like to whack it all around the table, but well, you know, it's it's what works for you at the end of the day. Attempt. A little bit lucky to get that, perhaps. Oh, yourself. Pull up, pull up, pull up. Oh, oh wow. Talking about getting away with things. That's crazy. Okay, how close we are to that well, yellow. The red on. Goodness me. A good plot. I was going to say good plot there. <laughs> Black a lot easier to the middle this time. We have a lot more comfort in playing this. It's there. Good pot. But I didn't really acknowledge. I should have looked at the positional shot. This red will certainly go, but it's it's not an easy one. It's not easy by any means. <laughs> As uh, our friend Dave would say. But that's a brilliant pot. Fantastic. Played it a little bit hard to get out of that. But in, in all truth, we wouldn't have got out of that if uh, we hadn't have potted that. But this is probably our best snook we've played so far. Don't want to jinx anything, really. That would be a disaster, wouldn't it? Again, nothing too hard here. That's just Good pot. But the red's perfectly at our disposal, really, now. We've got... How many reds is that? One, two, three, four, five, six reds. And we're on a decent break. He's aiming for the left corner here. Good healthy pot, and that is nicely on a pink. In fact, pretty much perfect. He has had a bit of a roll, definitely. I 
think we're still okay on a red into the middle. So yeah, the angle is, but I think we're okay. Yeah, that'll certainly go. I don't know why I had an ep ep epileptic fit there with the positioning, but nonetheless. Not an easy pot, but it's there. Angles were all correct. Yeah, yeah, loose shot, fair enough. Yeah, it's very loose, actually. It's got a good point. Mm. Right. Which one are we going to get? We'll go for the black. Just get it up for the black. Well, and that will definitely snooker him from there. Goodness me. Again, it's always worth going for a safety. It wasn't, you know, it was the end of break. We weren't going to clear up from there. That's not, that's not a bad safety, though, from Ryan Day, to be fair. He's left a chance. It's not easy, but a chance. He's left it well. You could call this a chance, but goodness me, it's not an easy one. Hmm. I think it's a safety shot we've got to play here. We haven't really got much choice. Hopefully we get clear of this. Oh, way too hard. We'll break up that brown and black, though, quite happily. But unfortunately, it leaves him a pretty much straight pot. If we'd have been there two balls ago, we'd have snookered him again, but that's the way it is. Still plenty to go in this frame. It's remarkable how crazy this match has been, really, in terms of missed chances, etc. But he's potted the pink. That leaves uh, 52 on the table, I think. Three red, so 24. Uh, yeah, 24 something. <laughs> I'll work it out in a minute. Well, we'll work it out if and when we come back to the table. Because nothing really matters until Ryan Day takes the lead here, but he's missed the red. Hence why, hence what? No. I was about to say, I thought he was going to fluke that. Ryan Day, 14. Ryan Day, 14. There we go, 43 remaining. So, bit of a shot to nothing again here. No, it's not oh, there, and unfortunately, close, it does leave it on. I have to say, our safety play, just our general play, has been sporadic in its success so far. Well, he's taking it on. You know, it, it looks great if you get a pot. Maybe it might be Ryan Day's time to actually win a frame, because to be fair to him, I've said all along, these frames have all been very close. And it would be a bit of an injustice, really, for Ryan Day to go on and lose this 3-0, so... You know, fair enough. But it's down to the colours. We're still ahead for now. If he goes for the black, which he is going to go for. He will go five points ahead if he gets the pot. And he has. Nice stuff. And now we just have to watch and wait. I think he is probably going to force a, a fourth frame. It'd be really clumsy to miss from here. And I think the pressure of, you know, if he misses, that's pretty much the end of the game. We'll spur him on a little bit. But that's not really the best chance, is it, on the brown? Safety it'll be here. He's going to go try and go for a snooker, I would guess. Well, he's really not got a snooker. Just patience, though, here. You know, patience is a virtue. Ryan Day. <laughs> right, this should go into the middle. Good pot. Trying to bring it back down the table. If this pulls up, it could be fantastic. That's a brilliant shot. Four. Providing this does go. Ryan Day is still ahead, so whatever happens, it will come down to the black. <laughs> and, uh, you know, when I was on about position earlier, and, well, his position wasn't great. Yeah, ours is even worse. So, I just don't... Well, is safety the best policy here? Possibly. Just try and get hit it as straight as possible. He won't want to under hit this. Yeah, that'll certainly do. Doesn't give him much angle. I mean, if he pots this from here, fair play. Neil Robertson, nine. He's well, one ahead, so it's very tense. He's hit that a lot thicker than we did, but does he get it behind the black? Not quite. So we're going to try our best to. To help what he wants to achieve. He's playing the safety and oh wow, that was a disaster. A real disaster. And yeah, he's going to pop this pink now. Oh, that was a disaster, goodness me. 
But as I said, it'll still come down to the black. It's not over yet. Could force a respot. Well, he's missed the pink. Goodness me. He needs to be mindful of not... Certainly unorthodox here from Ryan Day. And as long as this doesn't roll down to the... The corner pocket, we've got another chance. To be fair, it wasn't the easiest chance on the pink, but... Looking at his pots and those sort of angles the rest of the day, I thought he would take that. What is it? It's back down the table. You know, fair play to him. Trying it as thin as possible. And that's not certainly that bad. As long as the cue ball doesn't fail on us. But that's very good. Well, it will certainly, as I said before, come down to the black in this third frame. Don't think he hit the pink there. I don't think he hit the pink. He didn't. Going to force him to retake that. Because if we play on and miss, uh, then, you know, it could be catastrophic. And I think it's probably a good decision to force a retake. Because he's not going to get anything out of this unless he gets a very lucky snooker. And he's missed it again. This foul could cost him. And we are 13 ahead. So, he's got some choices here. so we might as well play on. Uh, you know, it's not the best chance it will. This basically means we get either the pink or the black that we do win. But uh, if he gets both of them, then it forces a respot. Not the best chance here, but it's there. Brilliant. Bit of an anti-climax in the end there, to be honest. But uh, goodness me, I think in three frames where Ryan Day, to be honest, could have won all of them. Uh, somehow we've come out victorious. That's a lovely pot to finish the game off. Probably the best one. And I don't know how we've got away with it there. But we'll certainly take it. Because we have beat Ryan Day in consecutive frames. It was a whitewash. Three frames to nil. And we're through to the next round. Oh, goodness me. Only a highest break of 39. Quite a very, well, a very cagey match there. Really was. Neither player playing fantastic snooker. But, as I've said before, not every match has to see a century for it to be exciting. You know, that exciting frames that are really close and are cagey and have missed pots are, are usually the most exciting. I hope you guys did enjoy that. Very nice way to come back to the series. And it's uh, a rematch of the semi-final of our Oppo International Championship. And uh, it's the quarter final against the Wizard of Wishore. Oh, no, we're going back there again, aren't we? I'm going to say this about 50 times on Monday's episode. Goodness me. But, uh, next time on Monday, we'll be playing the Wizard of Wishore. I've got no plans to make this series go back daily. I just hope from now uh, that I can pre-record and bulk record to make this series once every two days. Of course, if you don't know, after this week, um, I'm talking about the next calendar weeks, the week commencing the 27th, uh, I am off school, but then... Uh, week commencing the 3rd and week commencing the 10th. I'm, I'm in school for uh, exams. And then after that, I'm finished. So I want to try and bulk record some episodes this week for uh, for this series. So hopefully I can get those done and get about two and a half weeks done. So hopefully no interruptions uh, from now on to the normal schedule. But on Monday, that'll be the next episode. No need to worry about any interruptions for certainly the next four or five episodes. And that'll certainly cover this tournament. So the next match is against John Higgins, the Wizard of Wishaw. In the quarterfinal of the Champion of Champions. Thank you very much for watching. As I said in the earlier in the video. Thank you very much for your support. And I know it's the true champions of the channel. That uh, get to this point of the video. I always appreciate that. So thank you so much for your support. And until the next time. I've been Toby from TIJ Gaming. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye for now.